Yeah, certainly. Let's take a look at Macy's because it's another name that we have been focusing on here this morning, getting a boost from falling inventory levels despite a 7% decline in sales on a year-over-year -year basis. Now, the retail giant also adjusted its full-year outlook, now expects a sales decline of 7% versus a previous guidance of, of a drop of 7.5%. Again, we're looking at gains here in the pre-market action. When you dig into these results, yes, inventory levels did improve, fewer promotions, better inventory management, likely a leading to the improvement that we're that we are seeing in profit but when you take a look at the gross margin number here 40.3 percent that was held by fewer sales same store sales fewer promotional activity same store sales though still declining seven percent and it kind of also points to what we saw from Target earlier this week, right? When you talk about the fact that profit did uh, heavily surpass Wall Street's expectations, yet when you look at declining sales, something that obviously is going to be a challenge here for many of these retailers. Yeah, investors don't seem to care. They're ignoring these sales declines and really locking in, not just with Macy's this morning, Target, and even, you know, I would say to a lesser extent, Walmart, these inventory declines year over year. That is one of the biggest trends so far from this early batch of retail earnings. So earlier in the week with Home Depot, these retailers are in a much better inventory position year over year relative to last year when there was an inventory glut going to the holidays and there was a lot of discounting that really took a couple quarters to work through. But I, I look at this Macy's quarter and I've been very critical of Macy's. It's, just, it's, almost, it's under a $14 stock. It's just hard to imagine that. And I don't think it was that good at all. I look at the other revenue, and that is mostly comprised of their credit card business. Macy's three months uh, ago warned about rising delinquencies in their credit card business. Really was sound the alarm bell. Uh, was a, a bad quarter for department stores. That business, other revenue for Macy's, down $59 million year over year. Uh, really driven by uh, just falling credit card revenues, consumers pulling back on what they're charging there. And then uh, overall, like you mentioned, Shauna, sales down year over year. Discretionary purchases are just not being done. We heard from Target early in the week, people are waiting for the last minute to buy a coat. They want to see some snow, and if they do not see snow, they're not going out there to get a coat. They're reinvesting in, a, in maybe a great cheap steak at Walmart. Yeah, the department store model is extremely fractured right now, and it's showing up in these numbers continually, time after time again. Macy's Comp sales down 7.6% on a known basis. Mm -hmm. Bloomingdale's, which is the higher end, the luxury end of that, which starting to show some weakness there. Comp sales on a known basis down 3.2%. Own plus license basis down 4.4%. So all this considered, at a time where we talk about it time and time again, going into that holiday season, how they're going to need to move through so much of the inventory that they've already taken on, uh, that could come at an extreme loss. Just, just staff your stores, Macy's. I, I go in there. I, I have a couple bucks to spend. I need a pair of socks. You know, show me some socks. I walk yeah. into Bloomingdale's. Nobody's even in these floors. It's not a staffing issue. That's it is just a staffing a, issue. That's an issue of where they're putting the socks at. Well, maybe they don't have any socks. Whatever it is, I want somebody to help me. And I think Macy's continues to do a terrible job to cater with the people with the money in the pocket that is going to these stores. That's a Macy's problem. We'll take that offline, as I say in Slack. I think they do a good job, though, at Bloomingdale's. You gotta give it to them. Yeah. They, they do a pretty good job. I like there. the Tom Ford cologne job. section. It's pretty good. It's, it's a very good one. Um, yeah, no, I put my headphones in when I shop. I don't want to be bothered. <laughs>